you're going to want an extra special dessert for Valentine's Day or any romantic event. Voluptuously soft, chocolaticiously gorgeous, and a little bit naughty. Try my French chocolate mousse. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. On this channel, we teach you all about celebrating. We show you recipes for food, hors d'oeuvres, and of course, cocktails, and we share entertaining tips. Now, we try and keep everything as easy as possible, so those of you out there who say you can't do it, because we know you really can. Now, if you like this episode, hit that subscribe button and hit the like button, and you'll see a new episode every single week. So today, our celebration is all about Valentine's Day. Now, when I think Valentine's Day, I think chocolate. That means dessert. So we are making a French chocolate mousse for dessert today. So let's get started. This recipe has a few more steps than you might normally get out of me, but I promise you it's worth it. We're gonna start here. We have a double boiler. You've seen me use this before. It's a heat proof bowl over a pot of barely simmering water and the water does not touch the bottom of the bowl. That's very important. So first, we're going to use some Baker's chocolate. I have 12 ounces here. This is Baker's chocolate. It comes in a bar. This is actually Baker's brand, but Hershey makes it, Giorgio Deli, several of them. You find this in the baking aisle. This is semi-sweet and that's very, very important. I mistakenly used unsweetened chocolate for this recipe one time and it was a disaster. So always make sure you get semi-sweet. Now all I've done is I've taken the bars and I've just roughly chopped it up with my chef's knife. Very easy to do. I'm gonna put this in the bowl and it's gonna start melting pretty quickly. Just give it a little stir and it's all ready because that bowl was warmed, starting to melt. Now to that, I have uh, six tablespoons of unsalted butter. I'm just gonna add. What that's gonna do, it's gonna melt with the chocolate. It's gonna make it glossy and keep it liquid and just add even more deliciousness to it. So this just takes a few minutes. Now I'm holding onto the bowl right now because it's not very warm. You wanna be careful doing this. I have some oven mitts at the ready in case this does get warm. But safety first. Alrighty, now this has been about three or four minutes and it is wonderfully glossy and liquid. I'm just stirring it for another minute to get all the butter melted and incorporated. All right, let's cut that. Let me get this out of the way. And we're gonna remove this from the heat onto my little cork pad here. And I'm going to take a wire whisk. Let's scrape all that chocolate off as much as we can. I'm gonna give this a whisk vigorously. It's gonna help cool it down because we're going to be adding egg yolks. And we don't want the hot chocolate to cook the eggs. That would not be a very romantic thing. Perhaps funny, but not romantic. Okay, now let's talk eggs. I have six egg yolks here. Now what I did was I separated the eggs from the whites. We're gonna save the whites and use them a little later in the same recipe. So let's put this out of the way. Now for these yolks. While we're stirring this vigorously, we're gonna add the yolks one at a time. Plop it right in. And you want to stir it to keep them from cooking. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna help temper the chocolate and bring everything to the same temperature. And it just helps it incorporate it better. Oops, there's two at a time, but oh well. 
Now you may be a little worried about using raw eggs like this, but this is just hot enough to take care of anything. But plus my eggs that I get are pasteurized, so we're fine. All right. Lovely, lovely. This is gonna make it rich. We'll just put these last two in. And whisk it up. Okay, now this is gonna stay in this liquid state, so we're just going to put it aside for a few minutes while we do the rest. Now it's time for the whipped cream. Now we're not putting whipped cream on top, the whipped cream goes into the mousse. I have my trusty stand mixer. Now I had my metal bowl in the freezer to chill because that's going to help the cream whip. So we're starting off with one cup of heavy cream. Please use heavy cream, real heavy cream. Right in. We'll get this started on low. Teaspoon of vanilla. And uh, some sugar, four tablespoons of sugar actually, and this is just plain white sugar. Again, for this recipe, use real sugar, not any artificial sweeteners. Just gonna sprinkle that in. I'm gonna turn this up to get it going. And this will just take a few minutes. You don't want to walk away from it though, because if it over beats, you're gonna get butter and that's not what we want. We want good, fluffy whipped cream. So here we go, it's gonna be noisy. All right, we're about there. Let's check it out. It only, only took a minute. That is what we want. Oops, I can, there we go. That's soft peaks, just that. Now I'm gonna put this aside, I'm gonna put back in the fridge, and then we're gonna work on our egg whites. Okay, now it's time to do the egg whites. Now I've traded my bowls, I have a nice big glass bowl so we can see it whipping up. We're gonna start with the egg whites. Now this is six egg whites from the eggs that we separated earlier. Right into the mixing bowl. <clears throat> Just like with the whipped cream, we're gonna start it off on low to get it going. Maybe a little higher than low. We wanna let this beat just for a couple minutes to start to get fluffy and get some air incorporated into it. Then we're gonna add two more ingredients. Now, what are the egg whites gonna do? The egg whites are going to give the mousse a nice lift and volume, make it fluffy and voluptuous. Okay, now they're starting to get a little foamy. We're going to add a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Cream of tartar is an acid. It's actually a byproduct of winemaking. And this is going to help stabilize the egg whites and add more volume. Right in. Now we're going to add half a cup of sugar. Now I'm going to turn this up and we're going to let it beat until we get to stiff peaks. Alrighty, I think we're ready to check out these egg whites. You see, they're big and fluffy. So let's give it a check. That is perfect. That is what we want. Perfectly thick, yes. Okay. Now we're going to Get all of our greens together and assemble it into mousse. Here we are, we're ready to assemble. I've got my chocolate that's still glossy and liquid. I've got my egg whites and my whipped cream. 
We're going to start with the egg whites. Now, you don't want to just dump the chocolate into the egg whites or the egg whites into the chocolate because then they'll collapse. Again, we want to temper them. We're going to take a little bit of the egg whites, put them into the chocolate, and start folding. At this point, you can be a little rough because we're getting the chocolate used to the egg whites and the egg whites used to the chocolate. And this is just going to start to lighten it up. So when we put the rest of them in, they won't deflate as much. And you just fold it just like that. Easy. Now, I know this recipe has a lot of steps, but it really is easy. Your mixer does most of the work. Okay, let's start combining this a little more at a time. And this is where we're going to be a little more gentle. We're going to fold in and turn from the center. Just fold it. Just like that. Not stirring, you're folding. I'll just fold in this last bit. Now you can see the color of the chocolate has changed, it's gotten a lot lighter and it's soft and fluffy. The sugar in the egg yolks is what's adding the sweetness to this semi-sweet chocolate. Now it's okay at this point, if you still have a few streaks of white, it's fine. There. Now, the whipped cream, guess what? We're going to do the same thing with the whipped cream. First a little bit of it, just to get it going. And we're just going to fold. And see it goes pretty quickly this time. Another hunk of it, good size portion. Now this is again adding body and a lift to it and richness. As if it wasn't rich enough, on the eggs and the egg yolks. All right, this looks pretty good. And to me, and all you chocoholics out there, this is a dream come true. Now let's get these ready into some serving containers. We are ready to plate our mousse. I have just a few martini glasses because you know we love our martinis here at LG Manor. So let's just scoop it in. Now, this recipe makes eight servings. I'm just doing a few right now on camera for you. Now, as you scoop, you may see a little streak of white or a little pocket of whipped cream, and that's perfectly fine. Don't get upset. There's one. Now, the best thing about this is you don't have to make it perfect. You may think you should pipe it in and make it beautiful. It's chocolate mousse. It's beautiful, however it lands in your bowl. All right, these are some healthy servings. Okay, now we're just going to put these in the fridge and let them chill for about an hour or longer if you like, and then we'll come back and we'll decorate them and eat them. Here we are, it's been an hour or so, and our mousse is set up. Now, these are beautiful as is, but let's make them a little prettier. So you can garnish these with a whole host of items, whatever your imagination tells you. I have a few here today that I'll show you. The first one, I'm going to use a nice wedge of chocolate. This is a good lint chocolate. You've spent all this time on this glorious mousse. You wanna garnish it with good things. So we'll put a little wedge of chocolate in and maybe some orange zest because orange and chocolate go so well together. So that's one. How about a strawberry? I have a nice big strawberry here that I've just sliced and fanned out a little bit right on top. Beautiful. And what goes better than chocolate and strawberries? Well, here's my favorite, raspberries. I found some beautiful raspberries. Just going to put three in, and then maybe 
a little sprig of mint for some beautiful color. How gorgeous. Now, I have to taste it for you because it's what I do. I make these sacrifices for you. So here we go. Mm. It is so rich and so chocolatey, and yet somehow from the whipped cream and the egg yolks, egg whites rather, it's light and fluffy and airy and delicious. It's the perfect ending to your romantic meal. Of course, I need a little wine to wash it down. Mm. That's our show today, French chocolate mousse. A few more steps than you're used to getting from me, but totally easy and totally worth it. So as always, I'm going to have this recipe up in the comment section on YouTube. And I want to hear from you on Facebook, guys. Make this mousse. Serve it. Send me pictures on Facebook. We'd love to see it. We love hearing from you. So that's it. We'll see you again next Tuesday at 7 p.m. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. Cheers. Honey, what's that noise? Nothing. Nothing to see here.